My name's Supreme P. It's raining jacket potatoes, and this is Minecraft Wheelie. And welcome to the Texture Pack Spotlight. This is this week's first feature, and this week we got Glimmer Steampunk version 2.3. So let's go and dive into the world and have a look. As you could already see on the UI on the menus, there's a lot of work being put into this, and as you can see here, it's got a steampunk feel to everything. Custom torches to make them look like little lamps, you got paintings, you got glass doors, beds are really awesome, although I don't think I would want to sleep on that bed. The ores more customised, and this texture pack is a 32x texture pack, so you need the HD texture pack fixer. I should do a tutorial on that at some point to tell you how to get it, but for now just go and look it up on minecraftforums.net and this is just generally the look of the open world for this texture pack. It gets even more awesome when you start building like railways and stuff so if you like steampunk you will love this texture pack link is in the description as always go and check it out and that's it for this segment and we're moving on to the skin spotlight and this is a new feature for minecraft weekly 14 and the first skin is chuck norris by stud nicky so i've gone and downloaded the skin and uploaded it and this is the chuck norris skin you can see in the crafting area there unfortunately there's no first person mode where i can show you my face but who doesn't want to be Chuck Norris Chuck Norris is awesome and this skin is awesome and Chuck Norris can punch out pigs with his fist with no effort so if you want this skin go and check out the link in the description the skin will be somewhere along the page just look for the Chuck Norris skin and that is pretty much it so now here we are with the map spotlight and this week we've got Neglish's Pokemon the Kanto region. I'm a big fan of the Pokemon games so I thought I'd give this map a try. And you start off in Pallet Down and these are your supplies I think. Yep, basic supplies for your adventure. Play on normal or hard for monsters or, or peaceful if you just want to explore. I'm on normal so... I just equip this stuff and get going. So I'm assuming I'm in Pallet Town. And this is Ash's house. What's this do? Yep, you get some meat and this should be Oak's lab. Yep, Professor Oak. Let's go. Attention, do not break the chest. Do not open the chest or the game will crash. Oh, a Pokedex. I've got a Pokedex now. I'm very curious to open these chests, but I don't want to crash the game in the middle of recording. So, this is Gary's house, who's my rival. If you know Pokemon, you know you have a rival called Gary. At least in this version of the game. Oh, green slime ball. I assume that's a Pokeball. Although, who knows. So that's Gary's house. So, when you set off through here, you can go to the first town. And I'm unsure about how many towns are in this. I'm sure a few cities and towns are in the game. I think it's still a work in progress, so... Yeah, but this is very like Pokemon. <laughs> you got your Poker Center. You go go in here. Please have some food to restore your health. So you got some food there if you need it. Trade Pokemon. <laughs> you know you get that little computer and the Trade Center. You know. So you got houses, and this should be the Pokemon. Yep. We have a Pokemart, and in here is some stuff you can have. 
and this is very very cool Neglesh has uh, done an awesome job recreating Pokemon in Minecraft and I'm assuming one day there will be a mod so you can capture stuff or there probably already is so that will go very well with this but that's all I'm going to show you for now but links in the description for this awesome Pokemon map so go and check it out and oh Jermaine I'm not supposed to do that yet yeah just go and check this map out links in the description and that is it for the map spotlight now it's time for the Minecraft news so this week there's been little news but one bit of information I can give you as well in 1.6 you're gonna get your maps and you're gonna get a load of bug fixes you're gonna get never working in multiplayer Notch is working on implementing never in the multiplayer although there's already plugins that allow you to do that but this will be pretty awesome if you don't like to use your plugins but a lot of people are skeptical it's gonna break more than it fix but we have to wait and see Notch says the ETA on 1.6 is not soon so don't expect a new patch in any time in the next month or so I reckon but it's coming never is coming to multiplayer and this week's channel spotlight is Wolf21 and Wolf21 does Minecraft videos he has a lot of different types he has normal Minecraft let's plays he does multiplayer collabs with your chop youtubers you like to see he does sort of tutorial videos and when a patch comes out he also does very in-depth videos of every feature of it that comes out in that patch so if you want some of that stuff go over to Wolf21's channel and hit subscribe and yeah tell him I sent you so that's pretty much it for this week so Minecraft Weekly 14 has come to an end and we've had a new feature so I hope you like the show, remember to like, comment and subscribe and I will be back next week for another Minecraft Wheelie. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.